Pull up with a stick and he puts it in the heat. Pull up with a stick, let it hit. Pull up with a stick, let it hit. So as you can tell, I'm going to show you guys not only how I got this style with this wig, but also how I get my hairlines so natural. So let's just get started. Um, firstly, you need a wig. Um, this is the box that comes in. It comes with your wig, um, some wig caps, all that good stuff. This is a lace front wig. So this isn't a full lace wig, um, but you would kind of do it the same. These are the specs on my wig right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I have a little piece of paper telling me all about my wig and stuff And then I have the actual wig on the inside I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the wig net that it comes in and I'm just kind of checking out the hair I'm gonna show you guys the construction you get three combs at the top You have one one on each side and one in the middle as you guys can see the lace front and then tracks in the back And then you also have a comb in the back with an adjustable strap So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my wig inside out so we can go ahead and get to bleaching the knots the reason you want to bleach your knots is it keeps it makes it look like the hair is growing out of your scalp so I'm taking some BW2 bleach powder with some volume or 40 volume developer you can get both of these things at Sally's um, Sally's Beauty Supply that is I'm putting about basically the whole thing of the bleach honestly I'm just putting it in a regular ass bowl y'all because I'm a little ghetto and I don't have no mixing bowl and shit like that so um, I'm just gonna start mixing in a little bit of developer at a time mix in the developer in small amounts you guys you want this bleach to be a little thicker than how you would have it if you were to bleach your hair and that's because you don't want it to seep through your knots or through your lace and over bleach your knots and end up bleaching the hair on the wig so I'm just mixing in little amounts slowly by slowly as you can see and you want the consistency to be a little thicker than cake batter that's how I would describe it this right here is the perfect consistency for me when it's thick like this it will bleach your knots but it won't seep through and bleach your hair so I'm gonna lay out the wig as flat as I can get it and I'm just gonna start painting this stuff on um, you want to make sure your pressure isn't too heavy. If you're pushing too hard, it will seep through and bleach, over bleach your knots. As I keep saying, you don't want to over bleach your knots. It's just a hassle to fix. So get your consistency right on your bleach and you'll be fine. I'm just using a spoon, y'all, because like I said, I don't got none of that, you know, mixing. I don't got no fancy stuff. So we just doing what it do. So I'm just painting this on. I'm going to do the whole lace front. Um, that way, you know, as many of the knots get bleached as possible. Um, and I kind of just wanted to lighten um, my hair, the hair on the wig as well. It was kind of dark and I had a lot of leftover bleach. So I went ahead and mixed in some more developer and I just ran it, like ran the bleach through the ends of the hair as you can see me doing here. So this just kind of lightened the ends for me a little bit. I let the bleach sit on the knots for about, I'd say 15 minutes if that. Since I used a volume 40, that's the strongest volume that you can purchase um, if you don't have a cosmetologist license, um, it goes pretty quickly, so. So this is what your knots will start to look like. You see how you can't see them right here? Like you can't see where the hair is tied to the lace. That is what you want. So I'm gonna go shampoo the hair out and we're gonna start plucking. So I shampooed all the bleach out. This is my styrofoam head. I'm just gonna put this wig on her. You know, she about to wear it. Don't judge my styrofoam head. She done been through it, y'all. But um, I would really recommend getting a styrofoam head if you don't wanna invest in like a canvas head or anything. They come in handy. So I'm gonna take these T-pins and I'm gonna pin down the wig. If you don't wanna purchase T-pins or you don't have any, you can use tacks or like nails, anything like that, just to stick it through so it'll hold onto your wig cap. Um, and then once I've got that, I'm gonna start plucking. So how I like to pluck my hairline is I part a section off and I pluck toward the hairline. So you guys get what I'm saying? So I, I part it, I pull the hair toward the hairline and I pluck towards the hairline. So I can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing, if that makes sense. I'm not like a professional at this, you guys. 
this is just how I get my wigs to look the way they look. Um, I'm still perfecting the whole plucking thing. To me, plucking is definitely something that takes a lot of practice to get used to. Um, I still over pluck. I'll pluck, you know, bald spots into my frontal. I'll pluck holes. Like, trust me, it takes, you know, a little bit of time to get used to. So, yeah. So this is all of the hair that I got from just that one little section. I wanted to show you guys this because you're going to have so much hair after plucking. Like you're going to feel like you plucked your whole wig gone, but yeah. So this is what she looks like after I've plucked her. Before you cut your lace, you guys, try it on and make sure you like it. Then you can go in and start cutting your lace. Um, I like to cut my lace on the wig head so I can see. Um, and I cut it as close to the hairline as I can possibly get it. I don't like any extra lace personally. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I went ahead and applied my wig after this using some gots to be gel and I tied it down and here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and take my scarf off so you guys can see the unveiling, you know, of the wig. So this is her. She looks pretty good, but she could look better. The lace all is always too dark on my skin, you guys. So I'm taking this um, Studio Fix powder from MAC. It's basically just my face powder and I'm going to put it all over the lace. Um... It, on the camera it looks really light like it looks really really light but I promise you guys in person it doesn't at all um, so anyways I'm just putting that all over the lace to kind of lighten it because it's way too dark for my skin um, so that's gonna help the you know wig look more natural of course and from there I'm gonna move on to styling um, all I really did you guys to get that style as I'm pretty sure you could already tell is just put it in a ponytail so because this is a lace front you have you know you can part wherever you'd like so I'm just parting it right here and I'm gonna put this middle section in a ponytail um, so yeah Once I got the hair in the style, I went and took some scissors and started to layer the hair. The wig came layered already, however, it wasn't layered enough for my liking, so I'm going in with my scissors and I'm just chopping it up, girl. Um, I'm not really, I don't really know how to layer hair. I just was like, mm, maybe if I take some scissors and cut it, it'll, it'll go right. So that's what I'm doing, literally. I, I'm just cutting. I even cut like up into the ponytail because I wanted it to be a little shorter up there. So 
yeah that's literally all I'm doing <laughs> and then from here the only thing you have left to do is to make your baby hairs if you choose baby hairs are definitely an option not a must um, the only time I would say they're a must is if you didn't pluck the hairline well enough so I'm just picking some spots where I want some baby hair and I'm gonna cut them short like baby hairs and I'm gonna use my gots to be glued um, gel or whatever and my edge brush and just slick them down and that is pretty much how I got my hair like this you guys it was super easy just take your time practicing um, customizing your wigs and you will get it okay so I hope this helped you guys I love you so much I'll have all of the wig information down below for you guys and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one bye